Hey, what's up, folks? Graphics Rogue here, and I'm here to show you the historical battle of Pydna, a historical battle that was added in, in a uh, recent content patch, added along with the Getai as a new faction. This is about, uh, it's after the King Philip's Macedonian War with the Battle of Sinocephali. That would have been a cool battle. Wish they would uh, put that battle in, except instead of this one. Uh, this one leaves Macedon under de facto Roman control. Philip's death. After Philip's death, his son inherited the throne. He didn't like the Romans. He didn't like Romans control and shit, so he was like, fuck that. And Rome was like, nah, fuck that. So they dispatched an army under the command of Lucius Aemilius Paulus, who would bring King Perseus to battle near the town of Pydna. And uh, Perseus was all, all like, all right. So let's, uh, let's check it out. After his capitulation at Sinocephali, King Philip V of Macedon was allowed to remain in power, albeit as a client of Rome. Following Philip's death in 179 BC, however, his son, Perseus, was less willing to accept Roman control. An ambitious man, King Perseus began to restore Macedon as a regional power. The Romans, concerned that their de facto control over Greece would be eroded, declared war. After campaigning across the country, the two armies finally met near the coastal town of Pydna. Welcome, citizens, to the Battle of Pydna. Let us check it out. A Roman army under Lucius Aemilius Paulus has been sent into Macedon to confront Perseus. After days of maneuvering, the two armies now face each other near Pydna. The Romans camped in the hills send a foraging party too close to the Macedonian line. A skirmish breaks out, and increasing numbers of men from either side are drawn into the fighting. The Romans begin to advance, and King Perseus readies his forces. Roman control of Macedon will be decided today, on the field of battle. On the field of battle! <laughs> I love that. Four swords, men. We must secure these hills for Rome. Draw swords! Alright, let's go ahead. Okay, as you see in the uh, opening loading screen, they have a crap load of... They have a crap load of cavalry. Let's put our uh, all our princeps and triarii over here. We will hopefully knock out this uh, cavalry charge where some coming around s somewhere in this area. Hopefully we'll knock them out with all that infantry and we'll send all the cavalry and elephants to our right to defend against them there. Let's turn you... Get them off skirmish mode. Oh boy. So I've, I've beaten this game on normal before, but it was hard on normal. So, uh, it's gonna be near impossible. Near, near impossible, it seems like, to beat it on hard. Because it was really hard on normal, for me. Because they have just so many. What are you supposed to do with all these pikemen? They have so many pikemen. The goal should be to knock out their flanking cavalry forces first off, first hand. Take them out first, and then I can deal with the rest. Hopefully I can trigger the cavalry coming without triggering the, uh... The infantry coming at me. If I can knock out the cavalry first... They're somewhere around this area. I can knock out the cavalry first. We can be in a pretty good position. And they might be up here. Let's move our triarii up here. Our uh, triarii will make short work short work of their uh, of their cute little. Elephants! 
Of oh, their cute little horses. Riders, advance! All right, they're maneuver. They're moving around. They're maneuvering over there. Not sure what exactly they're doing. Might have to move these guys back. See if I can make a better, better go of it in some of these hilly areas. Alright, their infantry is moving up a little bit. I don't want to move up my Velites up to mess with their skirmishers, because they got a lot of skirmishers and accretion archers, and I think they would eat my skirmishers up. It's best to save my skirmishers for their strong units. Fucking shit. They are not cooperating. No. They're doing something. That archer unit. General. Okay, they're doing something here. I was gonna send my general unit up the, to attack them, but they were too. General, the enemy are sending their cavalry force to our flank. Oh they shit! To overwhelm us, we must act. Hold the line! Oh boy, that's a lot. Alright, uh, let's move you guys back. Oh crap, no. Where did they all come from? What the fuck? Where did the God damn it, there's so many. I could have swore there was some fucking cavalry over here. Fuck it, we'll deal with it. And we are losing shit left and right. Two fucking Velites already. Well, let's see how much you like my... my stampede ability. Okay, we've... Shattered a whole bunch of their cavalry here. We need to knock all those cav units out. Fucking shit. And of course the FPS is so bad that I, I can't, it won't register all my clicks and all my, and all of the shit I want to do fast enough. Because I don't have a $10,000 graphics card. Oh boy. It's not looking good. The terrible carnage! Oh, fuck. Elephants. They're going crazy. Fucking shite. Oh, they got all the guys away from over here. They were just fucked it. I killed a whole bunch of them over here, but I'm pretty sure they just pulled a bunch of them away. And decided, nope, 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 nope. 
That is not how we will play it. Okay, let's maybe get these guys on the sides here. What's going on over here? Are you still sucking? Yep, still sucking, I see. Elephants are still going though. Alright, we got a general unit here. Let's try to get my general unit into some of these uh No, pull it back, 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 back. Pull back and never stop pulling back. General! Fucking bullshit, I wanted to Okay, I'll send my elephants after this companion cav. We're starting to eat some shit over here. Go. Rapid advance. Attack them. Strike. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not going great. We are surrounding and killing a lot of the guys over here. And we still have some pretty good units over here. And somehow our general... I mean our... Elephants are still alive. That... The Cretian archer is out in the open. I can attack them with my cavalry, hopefully. Come on, go through. Oh boy, oh boy. Yes, we shattered all those guys over there. Okay, you guys are still holding out. Oh, Agrian and Axman, that's why. What's going on over here? You guys are still... Okay, they're shattered. Come on. Damn, finally. Okay, pull these guys back. Pull the cavalry back. Back, men, if you value your lives. Okay, we're we're good in a lot of good kills here. Our elephants are gone. Elephants are gone. We have well, we've uh, lost a lot of them all over the battlefield. Oh, they're shattered. We still have two elephants, but they're shattered. Come on, register the clicks. Boy, they are bunching up here. They, uh, they're not exactly sure what to do. They're completely surrounded, but they're devastating. They're, they're scary units. They're scary. They're scary units, so I don't want to just go out into full bore here. But maybe I do. Come on. Give me an, give me an opening here. Quick 
Oh, uh, show him the back. Show, show him the back. Come on. No. Idiot. Okay, we can get some devastating charges on some of these some of these units over here. Like right in the side of this pike unit. Boom. That is delicious. And they're they're wavering. Alright, they are... some of them? Some of them are running. Let's pull the cab. Let's pull the cab out. In fact, let's pull all you guys out here. No use to get needlessly... needlessly hit. Alright, let's see if we can get a nice charge in. Draco! Charge upon them! Got a great charge on them, but it didn't. Not killing nearly enough people here. And they still don't... They have... They don't know what to do. All right, get back, get out of there. All right, so we're eating up the backs of these guys here. That's good, but they're they're gone. Come on, let's get a hard crash on these guys. No, it won't let me. Keep turning around. I need to get my cavalry in the proper position in the back over here. Alright, we are about to knock those guys out. Boy, oh boy. Nice, another one, another one down. See if I can charge that Triaria into that general unit. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know, you can do it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Be careful. Are they turned around in the proper position? Gotta be so careful with these pikes. I got a lot of good cavalry left. But if I put them in the wrong position... They have so many pikes. Come on. Raise the banner. Right, let's pull those guys out because I don't want them eating pikes anymore. We're right in the backs of these guys. This battle is not over yet.
They don't know what to do. Okay, let's pull you back. Let's pull you guys back a little bit. Come on, don't die yet. Oh man, these so many pikes. What have they got? They got some thorax pikes, some bunch of levy pikes, some foot companions. Those foot companions are the most dangerous ones. These are all the units I have left. Alright, we've got them. I think we've got them pinned here. Oh, hell yeah. Get a nice... Devastating shot in the backs of these guys. Whoops. Draco. Crush them, man! Boom shakalaka! Oh, that should be it. Oh, come on, get out get away from there. Come on. Oh boy, they are not... They're not doing what I want them to do here. Oh, devastation. We are just eating the shit here. No, they are they, they are eating our shit. Oh boy, it's a lot of pikes. Oh, they're our cavalry about to be sandwiched on those pikes. We do not want that. We still have some decent pikeage. Shit, that is, that is a big levy pike unit right there. Just free and ready to go, and we've got two triarii units. Let's pull you guys back a little. Oh boy. If I could just get one good... One good strike in the backs of the... If I can get both of these guys pinned. Come on. You know you want it. Come on, guys. Man, they are- they're doing a good job. Alright, I think that's good. Charge, man! Boom. Alright, we are knocking their levy pikemen out. And their foot companions are finally beginning to... Beginning to... Oh, that is done. Look at all the corpses on the field of battle. <laughs> Rejoice! We... Another victory like this. And we are sure to lose the whole war. End of the battle. Woo! So that, one, that was the Battle of Pidna, people. That was devastating. Look at that. That Principe unit got 500 kills. How, when did that happen? I was not... I was not microwing my my Velites very well. They just... They did not do amazingly. But, oh, we killed all those Cav units. We just... Uh, that was that was down to the wire. To the very last bit. Our elephant units didn't get nearly enough kills. As far as I'm concerned. I... I believe those elephant units should have got double that number, at least. I was not using them in the proper way. There weren't there weren't enough stampedes. I didn't stampede them enough. 
they got they got a uh, they got berserked a few times, and that wasn't good. But I couldn't have done it without these cavalry. I, these cavalry held out, even though they are not as good as the Asarissa cavalry. Or, uh, I'm not sure if they're as good or better than the Thessalian cav, but I'm pretty sure they're not as good as the Sarissa cav. At least that's how I saw it last time I looked. But yeah, they got a lot of kills. Couldn't have done it without these cavalry. And I'm not sure if I fought that in the way I was supposed to be fighting it. I think I was supposed to fall back more into those mountains, fall back more into the valley. But I got in at the end. The historical battle of Pydna, a Fyrg victory. And I hope to see more historical battles come and more free LC, maybe DLC content in the future. I do, I do love my historical battles, even though I've never really heard of this one. I hope to see more historical battles in the future, and I hope to see you see me see more historical battles in the future. I'm your Graphics Rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.